trade depends on the efficient loading and distribution of cargo. However, for tankers, it is often necessary to discharge to smaller vessels, both at sea and within a port. This process, called ship-to-ship -ship transfer, or STS, is common practice. But as in any operation involving several vessels and often dangerous cargo, the risk is high and there is no room for error. This two-part series offers a guide to this essential but challenging operation. Team building and good communication is the key to successful STS. Several vessels, agents and shore facilities need to have a plan they all understand. A standard set of checklists must be used to provide a structure for the operational plan. In part one, we follow the process of bringing two large vessels together while underway at sea. The skills of masters, officers and pilots are tested to the full, while servicing crew work hard to provide hose and fenders far from shore. Part two takes us to a busy port, where bringing a coaster or barge alongside is often a tight squeeze, with little room for manoeuvre. While in a deep water channel, very large ships are moored to buoys, where wind and tide present their own challenges. Whether at sea or in port, equipment such as hoses has to be checked, assembled and supplied to the discharging vessel. On deck, connecting hoses and managing the transfer requires a keen awareness of safety and protection, both for crew and the surrounding environment. STS is a vital part of modern shipping, efficient and cost-effective. But it's a complex operation and a mistake could be catastrophic. That's why planning, safety and teamwork are key. This series, with its accompanying workbook, is your guide to doing it right.